Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy, and this is Introduction to Tableau Basics. In this lesson, this is the fourth lesson of a series of seven lessons, so we're halfway there. In the previous three lessons, we covered connecting to data, creating basic chart types, and the last lesson really took the next level and created dashboards, which really allowed us to draw deep insights that we previously couldn't. So filtering is really important because it allows you to interact with data and allow you to slice and dice at a level that's um, often not times not appreciated, but it can often drive like really great insights. So you, what you'll see is you'll have a dashboard similar to this. And then what you can do is click on the title of any dashboard, but we're going to click on sales versus profit and go a quick filter and click on product category. And then what you'll see here is it'll give you like a check checkbox type filter. And if you click on all, it'll erase them all. If we click on furniture, it'll only leave furniture. So that's good. That's handy. But what, what happens if we wanted to impact all dashboards? So what we do is we click on the inverted triangle, click on selected worksheets. Never click on all on this work all in this workbook, all using the data source. The reason why is that you'll have a filter that affects one dashboard that will also affect another dashboard and it'll just be really difficult to follow. So we're gonna click on here all on dashboard, press OK. And then what you'll see here is if we click on furniture, you'll see that these will adjust accordingly. If I click on office supplies, you'll see how it's very dynamic and it's really interesting. There's When it comes to strings filters, there's many different options. So there's single value lists, so you can click on each one. This is really good if you only want to look at one view at a time. You'll click on single drop down list, which is very similar, except for like it consolidates the mix into a drop down list, which makes it look pretty nice. You can also change it to slider. So slider is a lot of people's favorites. So a lot of different options here. So we're going to leave it as. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the sales versus profit. So we can either click here or we can click here, go to sheet. Or we can click over here and click go to sheet. Or final time, we can right click and click go to sheet. Oh, no, I want duplicate sheet. So I get for showing too many methods. So let's go to sales versus profit. What we want to do is maybe we want to filter for all line items that are above, say, a thousand in sales. So what we're going to do here is we're going to drag sales. And what you'll see, there's a number of different options. So what all values means is it's going to look at it at an individual line level. So if, uh, as opposed to sum, which is basically going to sum all the sales within that line item, so within that order ID. So an order ID might have like thousand dollars for uh, furniture, another thousand dollars, another fifteen hundred dollars for technology, another thousand dollars for for furniture. Uh, what that so that provides a very different view. So we're gonna click here. So we click on all values, press OK. We're gonna go back to Insight Dashboard, and what you'll see here is that when you go to Quick Filter, you'll see Sales here as an option to filter. And again, we're we're gonna adjust it so that you click on Selected Worksheet impacts all work all dashboards on this worksheet. And then what you'll see here is there's not as many options when it comes to uh, numeric values, you can either put a range, at least, or at most. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say, I only care about sales that are above 10,000. And then what you'll see here, it uh, impacted this dashboard very evidently, but it also impacted these other dashboards. And it allows you to see and understand, one, the profitability over time for sales above 10,000 versus uh, the regional sales and the breakdown by product container. So it allows you to go and drill down further and say like, okay, why is there, this This is an issue. So you'll see that this is all drawn from one particular order ID in the West region. So it really allows you to use, use insights. And then you can as well go by these different product categories and understand like what's happening here. So this, um, this profitability, one that's really interesting, when you look, when you go to buy furniture, you'll see that there's a lot of like negative months, especially around this critical ones. Are are we are we selling products under critical that aren't that profitable or are, are costing us a lot of money versus office supplies? You'll see there's virtually no month that's negative except for 
like maybe this month and this month so but it's still very low versus technology where you see it's all over the place uh, depending on these different uh, order priorities so really like interesting way of viewing your data and really understanding you'll see that for example critical there's negative one month high it's negative a few months low you'll see it's all over the place well not specified looks like it's pretty concerning so really allows you to draw some really interesting insights I'm just gonna reset all the filters and that's that's filters for you you can filter on a number of different characteristics uh, maybe we'll do actually do one more just because I like you guys what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to order date and we're gonna filter by uh, where is it uh, individual weekdays so this is gonna be interesting we're gonna go here so we've added them we're gonna do by weekdays and this is the day of the week the order is made so what we can do let's change this to a single value chart and then let's change it back to all and then let's change it to selected worksheet click all and then what you can see here is you can see the profitability change over time based off the day of the week the product is ordered are there some days that are more profitable than others so really interesting view to to look at it and to combine so you can see filtering is a really interesting way of slicing and dicing data without having that data specifically on the visualization so I love dashboards, I love interaction, the interactive filter, but really filtering is what really takes to analyze data. Thank you. And I will look forward to speaking to you in the next lesson. Thank you. Bye.